Okay class, today we're in section 5.1, solve inequalities using addition and subtraction. 5.1, solve inequalities using addition and subtraction. Before, you solved equations using addition and subtraction. Now you will solve inequalities using addition and subtraction. Key vocabulary, graph of an inequality, equivalent inequalities, inequality, solution of an inequality. On a number line, the graph of an inequality in one variable is a set of points that represent all solutions of the inequality. To graph an inequality in one variable, use an open circle for less than or greater than, and a closed circle for less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. The graph of x is less than 3 and x is greater than or equal to a negative 1 are shown below. Here's the graph of x is less than 3. Notice the 3 is circled but not shaded and is darkened going back in the less than direction. The graph of x is greater than or equal to a negative 1. Notice the negative 1 is circled and shaded. That means it also is also included, so equal to. And notice how it was shaded in the greater than direction. Example 1. Write and graph an inequality. Death Valley. The highest temperature recorded in the United States was 134 degrees Fahrenheit at Death Valley, California in 1913. Use only this fact to write and graph an inequality that describes the temperature in the United States. Solution. Let T represent a temperature in degrees Fahrenheit in the United States. The value of T must be less than or equal to 134. So inequality, excuse me, so an inequality is T is less than or equal to 134. And you can see the graph right here. All right. We had 134. We circled that and we shade it. And less than is back in this direction. We shade because it means equal to. So less than or equal to 134 looks like so. Example 2. Write inequalities from graphs. Write an inequality represented by the graph. A. See our graph? Notice how we're circled but not shaded as a negative 6.5 and it's going in a greater than direction. Solution. The open circle means that a negative 6.5 is not a solution of the inequality. Because the arrow points to the right, all numbers greater than a negative 6.5 are solutions. An inequality represented by the graph is x is greater than a negative 6.5. Alright, now let's look at B. Notice we're at 4 is circle and shaded and is going in the less than direction. The closed circle means that 4 is a solution of the inequality. Because the arrow points to the left, all numbers less than 4 are solutions. An inequality represented by the graph is x is less than or equal to 4. Equivalent inequalities. Just as you use properties of equality to produce equivalent equations, you can use properties of inequalities to produce equivalent inequalities. Equivalent inequalities are inequalities that have the same solution. Key concept, addition property of inequalities. Words, adding the same number to each side of an inequality produces an equivalent inequality. Algebra. If A is greater than B, then A plus C is greater than B plus C. If A is less than B, then A plus C is less than B plus C. If A is greater than or equal to B, then A plus C is greater than or equal to B plus C. If A is less than or equal to B, then A plus C is less than or equal to B plus C. 
Example 3. Solve an inequality using addition. Solve x minus 5 is greater than a negative 3.5. Graph your solution. x minus 5 is greater than a negative 3.5. You write the original inequality. Now you're solving for x, so you're going to add 5 to each side. So plus 5 plus 5. A negative 5, when combined with a positive 5, that goes to 0, and you're left with just x. A negative 3.5 plus 5 is equal to 1.5. So x is greater than 1.5. The solutions are all real numbers greater than 1.5. Check by substituting a number greater than 1.5 for x in the original inequality. Your graph should look like so. Notice how you're on the number line. That's 0. 1.5 is between 1 and 2. You circle the 1.5, but you don't shade it. And you, you darken your line going in a greater than direction. Now, if you notice in this example, you're starting to repeat the steps that you learned back in Chapter 2. For those of us who did not do the problems properly back in Chapter 2, this is a chance for you to relearn what you didn't learn before. Because you now know that what was once a lesson now becomes a step. Key concept. Subtraction property of inequality. Words. Subtracting the same number from each side of an inequality produces an equivalent inequality. Algebra. If A is greater than B, then A minus C is greater than B minus C. If A is less than B, then A minus C is less than B minus C. If A is greater than or equal to B, then A minus C is greater than or equal to B minus C. If A is less than or equal to B, then A minus C is less than or equal to B minus C. Example 4. Solve an inequality using subtraction. Solve 9 is greater than or equal to X plus 7. Graph your solution. Write the original inequality. 9 is greater than or equal to x plus 7. You want to get x by itself, so subtract 7 from each side. Minus 7, minus 7. 9 minus 7 is 2. A positive 7 when combined with a negative 7, that goes to 0, so that's gone. So all you're left with is just x. So now you have 2 is greater than or equal to x. Once again, 2 is greater than or equal to x. You can rewrite 2 is greater than or equal to x as x is less than or equal to 2. The solutions are all real numbers less than or equal to 2. Once again, if it says 2 is greater than or equal to x, then going the other way, it must mean that x is less than or equal to 2. So you go to your graph. Locate 2, circle it, shade it, and then darken in a less than direction. Once again, the equal to sign means you include it. Example 5. Solve a real-world problem. Luggage weights. You are checking a bag at the airport. Bags can weigh no more than 50 pounds. Your bag weighs 16.8 pounds. Find the possible weights, W, in pounds that you can add to the bag. Solution. Write a verbal model. Then write and solve an inequality. Weight of bag, 16.8, plus weight you can add, W, we don't know that, is less than or equal to weight limit of 50. Notice in the problem it says no more than 50 pounds, no more than 50 pounds. That means the maximum pounds it can be is 50 or less, no more than 50 pounds. The maximum it can be is 50 or less. That would, mean, that would be like me saying to you, you have no more than $10. That means you have $10 or less in your pocket. Write the inequality. 16.8 plus W is less than or equal to 50. We're trying to solve for W, so subtract 16.8 from each side. So, minus 16.8 on this side, minus 16.8 on this side. 
16.8 when added to a negative 16.8 will cancel out. So gone, gone. All you're left with is just W. Bring down your less than or equal to sign. And then 50 minus 16.8 is 33.2. So that means you can add no more than 33.2 pounds.